you're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Okay, we're live. Good morning. This is Greg Glory, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Uh, today we talk again with Hessel van Orschot, uh, the chief noisemaker, they call him, at Tribe of Noise. So Hessel's no stranger to uh, Nerd Stalker. We met at uh, Hessel at SF New Tech, and uh, we also did an interview last summer with him. And uh, we wanted to catch up with him here because he, he made, had some new announcements, uh, new things to talk about with Tribe of Noise. So anyway, good morning, Hessel. Welcome to Nerd Stalker live from Amsterdam, Netherlands. Amsterdam, the Netherlands. How are you doing, Greg? Good, man. Good. We haven't talked in a while, and it looks like you've been a busy man. I, well, you know, last time we did talk, we just kind of introduced your your service to to our audience, and we also talked about a little bit about Sonos, and we're going to talk a little bit about that later. But you know, I, I noticed that you made some interesting announcements in a newsletter that I read last month. So you know, let's talk about you know, let, which is kind of your pride and joy, the the relaunch of Tribe of Noise Pro. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, as you know, Greg, uh, you know, the first time that we talked, I explained what Tribe of Noise was about and that we started from being annoyed that we couldn't license music for a video production. And then in the last couple of years, we have spent a lot of time uh, developing new business models for musicians. Uh, and funny enough, uh, the circle is now round again because we're back at a stage where we think that we now have enough musicians to uh, and music, like great quality music, to reach out to any media maker out there. So not just like filmmakers or people in the advertisement industry, but also people who are just, you know, in a professional way working with YouTube or for a multi-channel network or individuals to um, any agency that, that needs content and music for, uh, uh, for their, their products. Um, and we want to really like focus again on that target audience because that's how we started. You know, it's like you have a project, you have a deadline, you don't have any money, of course, uh, but you still want to finish your project with quality music and don't want to rely on, on, on stock music, for example, or, or no music or your next door nephew on a keyboard. So, you know, you want some quality stuff. And um, so that's basically the relaunch of Tribe of Noise Pro at the moment that uh, Tribe of Noise Pro will make sure that uh, access is provided to media makers. Uh, we will build in the upcoming weeks beautiful playlists with uh, specific genres that we think uh, make sense to, to, uh, to media makers. Anything that will help them to you know, go online, find the right song, swipe the credit card, download the track, uh, sync it with the project and off you go continue because that's that's you know they don't have enough time to really spend hours of searching for music uh, and and all the licensing for them is, is is a big hassle so we have to take that away from them as well well you know you, it, you know I, I know you probably want to make it a lot easier just so that you could uh, convert a lot of more more people to be you know using it and make it seamless for them but you know I found that when I search a lot of stuff on tribe of noise pro, um, you know, I use a lot of use a lot of the. We'll talk about that a little later. I use a lot of the Creative Commons stuff for like intros and stuff like that, and it's really like like everyone. It, it's good. It's good quality stuff. I mean, I mean, you you'll get the beats per minute if you want that and all that stuff. But but I think what Hessel's talking about now is really um, you know trying to update the site so that like 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 when you say playlist, is it would it be based on the user's preferences? Well, they've done a lot, like last couple of years, they've done a lot of research, uh, you know, asking media makers, like, how do you search for music? You know, is it, is it based on beats per minute? Is it based on keywords? Is it based on emotion or energy level? Um, and if you look at our competitors and some of the search engines in the place, you will see that you have like a lot of options, like filters. You know, you can filter for um, non vocal, vocal instruments, uh, uh, the tone, the uh, beats per minute. Uh, and it all and this is funny. It all comes down if you really ask media makers to the energy level, like you know, it's a high energy video or that they need, and it's the, uh, the emotion. So uh, is it like sad or is it happy or something in the middle? So 
those two axes, and you can actually make it into a circle with two axes, like an X and Y uh, axle, are basically the only thing that, that, that you need to like direct access music that you need for your for your video project. Uh, and so we have done research, but also like you know, uh, much smarter people than we have done research in the last couple of years uh, figuring this one out. Um, and we take advantage of this because while still most of our competitors are using you know all these uh, additional filters that make it more complex to to figure out which one we want. Um, we will try to make it even uh, as simple as possible to only use these two. And if you want more, so if you want, if you say like, but it has to be like a female vocalist, then of course the filter is there. But it's you know an additional step that you can do if you if you actually want to to dive into this. And um, maybe I I can even give you like a, a little view in the like in the, in the future of where where this is heading. Um, because now it's 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 real. It's a people business. You know it's. Uh, a media maker, a videographer, or somebody just building something on, uh, on, on uh, um, in their software for, for YouTube or uh, compiling. Um, but just imagine a future where uh, just the keywords based on, uh, for example, tweets or posts on Facebook uh, could be connected to a database and sent back uh, the right music for that emotion. Uh, so that uh, brand specialists or, or social media warriors, or, or, you know, give the beautiful name, but all these people who want to interact with a specific audience uh, based on um, uh, a brand, a consumer brand, uh, they would love to have uh, a playlist where music actually changes, maybe by the minute or by the hour, based on uh, people tweeting about the consumer brand. Um, and, and that's a future where we're not there yet. You know, it's not the, the playlists uh, we build, or Spotify build, or Deezer, or all the other brands are playlists built by professionals, and they are tweaked by uh, by data. You know, if people use specific songs more than other songs, then you can say like, oh, okay, this song should be higher ranking than the other song, or this uh, song should be taken out of the playlist. But just imagine if you can like uh, use way more data like millions of tweets that will actually interact with your database and say like, okay, at this moment, Coca-Cola, you know, this specific emotion, this specific energy level, while it's raining in San Francisco, actually will get you another a track uh, in front of you than uh, in two hours in Hong Kong. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, you, you, you touch on something, because like when you were saying, like when I'm looking for a video to do um, like for a quick, to add a little bit more to the video that I'm doing, like marketing video, um, you know, you touched on something is the energy. I, I thought that was really cool that that you were actually looking at that because uh, there's sometimes I want something high energy, no vocals, uh, that's synced with my video, or I or the ability to sync. I can sync my my video um, that's close enough in beats per minute so that I do it. But uh, yeah, I, th what you're saying makes a lot of sense for for the video people out there. Um, and, and, it's, and, and Greg, it's still even if you only use those two axes. So even if you just uh, go for sentiment uh, and, and, and energy level, it, it's still difficult, you know, because uh, uh, maybe you had a hard day uh, and uh, or a tough day, and, and you know you, you're working on your video project. You, you know, you need more coffee. You're not, you know, you're totally different than the day before or tomorrow. So uh, your understanding of energy level and, and sentiment or uh, emotion that day is totally different than tomorrow and day uh, and yesterday. Yeah. So, uh, still, it's it's not that we can, although marketing wise, we will tell you we will deliver spot on music. Uh, it's still very personal. Uh, yeah. The good yeah. news is, if you play around with uh, you know energy levels and, and, and emotion or sentiment. And if it's not spot on, but you have like a very simple tool that you can just you know drag to the left or to the right or up and down, uh, it will at least give you the the ability like quickly to alter what you're searching for. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, it doesn't take you hours to like oh, I'm not feeling well. I, 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 I you know this is horrible music. I don't get it. What, what else should I do to, to you know get? To, you can just drag and and, and find that uh, you know the music that you like, and and. 
once again, we play around with, with real music, like by, you know, independent artists or, or people who actually make music for their fans, so it's not made for, for production libraries. Um, and that's a big difference because that, that gives you that, that extra edge in your, in your video production. Um, that, that's what I like. I mean, I, I see all that beautiful stuff nowadays from, from GoPro, for example, all these like action or, or with the drones, you know, you see these beautiful videos with drones uh, flying over uh, uh, landscapes and people on, uh, you know, BMX bikes uh, with, with GoPro cameras on the helmets. Uh, those people understand perfectly what I mean if I talk about, you know, energy levels. They, yeah, they don't, no, no. They don't, want a, they don't want a piano in the background while they're biking down the hill. They want some some proper rock and roll uh, uh, kind of music. You know, don't get me started on video surgery. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's another pain in the butt. But but anyway, let's. I, I, so. Is it actually uh, relaunching in a few months, or you actually started to add some of these features currently to uh, yeah. Turbo Noise Pro? Yeah. I, I think the first thing we had to do is that, that um, the, uh, and don't get me wrong, it, it was already working, but, but the, the Tribe of Noise Pro website, uh, uh, like uh, before last month, uh, actually looked too much like a, uh, a production library, like, like a stock music library. So, uh, you know, we always had people coming in say, like, yeah, but. We're based in Amsterdam, for example, so within our European borders, uh, the bigger players are like, for example, Audio Network in the UK, uh, and in, in, in U the US, uh, you know, don't get me started because you have like many of those uh, in, in the US as well. Uh, so for us to differentiate, you know, with, with, with quality music as opposed to production music or a different search mechanism and, and, and the way we categorize things, uh, we needed to address uh, the message first, so people, you know, landing on Tribe of Noise Pro, uh, which is uh, pro.tribeofnoise.com, so not, not www, but pro.tribeofnoise.com, uh, should understand that actually this is a, a website made for media makers by, by media makers, in this case, uh, musicians. And uh, so that's what we've done uh, first. And now we're tweaking uh, uh, the, uh, the algorithm and uh, the interface on the front end. So it will be, uh, uh, we sim we're simplifying things. So everything that we think like should go to a second screen or the next page or whatever we're taking out because we want to simplify things so that people actually find what they're looking for instantly. Um, and yeah, just to give you a funny example. Like two weeks ago, I had a, uh, an intern here which was uh, the son of one of our best friends who was 12 years old. And, uh, 12 year old intern. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, just one day. And he, um, uh, I, I gave him a, an assignment. There is like a, a, a car brand, I, I won't mention the, the name of the car brand, but there was like a, a national car brand commercial on, uh, on our Dutch television. And a lot of ad agencies saying like, you know, there's a misfit between the music and the video. So I handed him over the video and said like, okay, I will take out the music and uh, you go on Tribe Force Pro and start to find something that, that you think relates to this brand and the imagery that you're seeing in front of you. And within like two minutes, he came back with a track that um, we said like, okay, uh, you misunderstood me, it's, it's, a, it's a German car brand. And uh, he came with, with a country and Western song, like a pop American uh, kind of song. So I said like, this doesn't relate to, to, to the car brand. So we gave him an additional five minutes, and he found a song that uh, that was actually so much better and more spot on than the original, where Ed AGC probably got paid like a lot of money, but also spent like uh, probably weeks to clear that song from uh, with, together with the publishing uh, company. So we were like, okay, this is actually working. You know, if a twelve-year kid, uh, year old kid can do this, then. Uh, this might be the proper tool for, for any media professional out there to just uh, you know find the right music, start syncing, downloading, swiping credit cards, and go for it. So um, yeah, we, we, we think we're on our way, but we're open for, uh, and that's also why uh, I wanted to do this interview with you. This is also an open call to any media maker out there, like give it a try, and if there's anything that we can improve, this, you know, this is your chance, just give us some feedback. If you want us to make some proper like uh, playlist or categories that that make sense to, to use a media maker, tell us. 
we can we can fix that now and uh because uh, we also dropped uh, the pricing so we also want to you know play around with, with pricing and see if, if uh, uh even like youngsters who think that music licensing is something that should be uh, free of charge and uh you have a lot of them um you know are you guys willing to pay 49 dollars for example to license a beautiful track in a youtube video of, under a perpetual license or is that still too much? You know, we just want to uh, try out and figure out uh, the best way forward with uh, the biggest audience that we can capture with, uh, with this new platform. Well, you know, I think the power of Tribe of Noise, at least for me as an independent video person and, and, and stuff like that is really, uh, like you said, it, I, I think, you know, relatively it is really inexpensive, but you're right. I mean, I think I think brands like yours always have to go through uh, pricing model changes just to make sure you're attracting the audience. We were talking about that offline, right? Yeah. And um, wow, that that's exciting. <laughs> but but you know, I wanted to tell you, I think there's 12 year olds that are much smarter at search than I am. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to put it past that. That twelve year old is probably smarter than me. Yeah, no, but Greg, the, the, the fun thing is when, when when you have an interface that just works and, and it's like like that simple. Um, the fun is you will start playing around with it. So uh, even if you're making a video and you think like, oh, I need some proper rock music or I need some uh, electronic dance music, yeah. and if you just play around with these sliders and music comes back unexpectedly from like classical music or or you know what lounge or whatever it uh, uh, even that is fun because then you can test drive new kinds of music while you actually we're not thinking about it and in some cases it just works better than you know the original idea that you have and this is something that that most people in the media space will recognize because if they get a briefing from a client the first briefing that, you know that that doesn't come close to the finished product so when you know uh, uh, somebody's working on a, on a video production and, and the client says like you know it has to be this kind of emotion and you know two months down the road you look at the end product and it's like what you know this has nothing to do with the brief the, the initial briefing so uh, same thing for music you know play around with the stuff see what works and see what doesn't work and um yeah and and, and this also uh, is like our intro into a world of uh, cognitive computing uh, you know, big data analysis. We, we are probably, well, correct me if I'm wrong if somebody is listening or if when they see this video, but um, uh, we're probably the first uh, uh, music licensing company uh, in the world that signed with uh, the IBM Watson team uh, to make our interface more clever. And you know, they can sift through millions of tweets and online documents and, and like instantly come back with uh, with proper feedback about like what they call sentiment scores about a brand so if you're working on, on, a, on a funny video for a cool brand in the, in, the, in the skateboarding or whatever uh, you know with their information we can initially we can uh, like instantly feed you information about where those sliders should be if you really want to hit a specific audience so um you know that's so fun to play around with oh absolutely wow it looks and, like and you still, guys are, still yeah. it's very personal so still all these media mm -hmm. makers out there i think mm -hmm. like oh no an algorithm is going to take over the world you know don't worry don't worry you know you're in control if you don't like what we serve you know just uh, uh try something else and, and you, 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 you will find it out oh this is gonna be cool